Patty and I'm a crafter and today I am going to show you how to make these adorable little gnome buddies. You can use them on Christmas packages, your tree, you can make a wreath with them. You can do all kinds of stuff with these. They are great, easy to make. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hey guys, I'm going to show you a really quick easy way to make these no sew gnomes that you can use on packages. This is one I did earlier today. They're super, super easy. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a lint brush, you're gonna need a, um, a beard made of faux fur, and I'll show you how to cut that out here in a minute so that um, you understand how to cut faux fur. You're gonna need a piece of fabric, a um, piece of felt for the bottom, a round bead for the nose, a cork, and a little hat. And I'll put a description in the comment section at the bottom so that I can um, show you where I got all these products. Oh, and you're gonna need a hot glue gun. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you how to cut faux fur so that you have a nice beard at the end instead of having a cut off mess. So what you're going to do, you're going to have, the way your, your beard goes is going to go like this way, the way that the, the natural flow of the fabric goes. You just turn it over. I cut mine out a quarter, an oh, inch and a quarter wide and an inch and a quarter long. And what you're going to do, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to real finely cut just through the backing, not through the whole thing. If you cut through the whole beard, you're going to cut off the beard and you're not going to have a nice, um, you're going to have just a chopped off beard. That's what you're going to have and it's going to look terrible. So you don't want to do that. You want to cut just through the bottom layer of this fabric and I just cut around. You can get a tape measure if you want to and measure it off, but you're just cutting off the, fa the backing only. So that when you finish cutting off the backing, you still have a nice long beard on the front. That easy. Okay, well, let's get started. First of all, we're going to take our fabric and we are going to uh, glue it to our cork. And I'm just going to run a bead around the cork of hot glue. And then I am just going to glue this baby on. All right, so that's the body of the the body of the gnome. Then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to hot glue the bottom of it right to that piece of felt. And you don't have to be precise; just stick it on the felt, just like that. Okay, and this is where this comes in handy because you're going to have hair everywhere. Kind of keeps it keeps your space a little bit tidy. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for just a few minutes and then um, I'm gonna cut into it. Okay, after it dries, you just come back and you cut around the base right up to the edge of the cork. You don't even have to start with a circle. You could actually start with a square or whatever since you are cutting it off. All right. So there's your gnome body. Okay, now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and what I'm gonna do, because I have this seam in the front where I glued it, that's where I'm gonna put my beard over the top to hide that seam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out where my beard goes and I'm just gonna hot glue right around that edge. And then I'm gonna hot glue just a little bit down in the middle to hold the rest of the beard on. And just hot glue your beard right onto your body and let it dry. Okay, you want to let it dry pretty good for a minute until that hot glue stops. While you're doing that, you can take your little hat that you got, go ahead and turn it inside out. And after that's dried, you're just going to put a big dollop of hot glue right in the center. And you're going to glue the hat right into that center. And let that dry really good. Okay, after that's good and dry, 
you're just gonna make a small bead around the edge, the entire edge of this little gnome. Just right up the very edge. And we're only gonna put a little bit because we don't want glue all coming out of our hat so much. Then we're gonna take our little hat and we're gonna open it up with our fingers and we're gonna slide it up over the top of that. Like that. And let that dry really good. You can already see how cute he's getting ready to be. All right. Just trying to press on it too much because if you press on it a lot, your glue is just going to come out. If you kind of leave it alone, the glue will dry and it won't come out of your hat. So after you let that dry pretty good, take your little hat and roll it back on the front. Probably about just out about, oh, maybe an inch back. And now we're going to put our nose on. And what I do is I go ahead and pull this on back a little bit more. I'm going to glue, put a dollop of glue right in the center, right by the edge of the hat, and on the on the fur the or the fur of the gnome beard. You don't even have to put a lot, just a dollop. Then I take my be my bead and I'm going to put it where the bottom part of the hole is towards the bottom part of the beard and then I'm going to slide my hat over the top of it like that and then just hold your fingers there for a while till it dries and that's pretty much it then you have this cute little gnome that you can do all kinds of stuff with. And I'm, I'm going to show some other videos later on different ways that I use these. But um, trust me, you'll want a bunch of them. Stay tuned in my next video. If you like this video, hit subscribe and the like button. And um, I'll have more videos show, showing up later. Thanks for watching.